Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how can we insert an object in Microsoft PowerPoint. So here you can see guys, we have a slide of totally eight number of slides and this is our PPT and we want to insert a document. So how to do that? So to insert a document or we say an object in PowerPoint, we say an object. So how to insert an object? So to insert that, obviously you're going to click on insert tab and here in the text group, you can see an object. Just click on that and this box appears with, where it says insert object. Now you have two options. You can create a new object by using this object type and you can select the pre-created document or object in your PC and you can browse it from here. So what I'll do, I'll click on create new and see you can create uh, AutoCAD drawing, you can create a bitmap, you can create an Excel binary, you can add a macro file, you can add a gra graph, even you can add PowerPoint presentation, Word, uh, WordPad, packages and many more. Okay, so for example, I'm going to insert Microsoft Excel chart. So just after selecting, if I click OK, then a new window will appear of Excel. Now what happens? I have to edit the data in that chart so that it fulfills our requirement. But if you don't want to appear the entire chart in your slide, okay, because it's gonna cover your some uh, area of the slide. But what happens if your slide is having a uh, slide comes with some text and you don't want the text to overlap with the and overlap with the the Excel file? So in that case, we will use the icon. So I'll click on display as icon. Now for now, this icon is selected. You can change the icon from here. If you click on change icon, then you will have this box where you have loads of icon. So I'm going to select this one because this one is the latest icon. So I just after selecting, click OK. And yes, you can add the caption of the icon. For example, I'm going to add data of big IT companies. And I'll click on OK. As you can see, the new icon and the caption is written on the bottom side. Now, if you click on OK, then as I said, a new window will appear of Excel chart. Now, you can edit the data from here. And just after completing all the data, you know how to edit these data. You can adjust the size from here. OK. And then you have to click on Close. Now, as you can see, just after clicking on close, we have the logo that we have created and the captions written on the bottom side. You can adjust the size from here and you can move it wherever you want. Now, if you want to change the editings, uh, the format, then you can click on the drawing tool format tab. Now, what happens here, you can change the style or change the uh, word style, but we don't have any picture on the text we have on the bottom side, but we don't have the the text on the picture. So we can't, it doesn't allow to edit the uh, word art styles. Okay, so what we can change, we can just change the file uh, shape color. For example, I'm going to keep it as black and the shape outline as yellow. Now, we, uh, if you want to edit the, the sizes, then you can use this one. For example, 2 inches by 2 inches. Okay. Okay, so the black color is not good because the text is not able to see. So, I'm going to select the white color. Okay. Now, let's suppose you have this slide on the presentation mode. So, how to open that? Fine. You just have to click on, you just have to click on this icon. Do double click. Now click on edit existing. And again, your Excel window will appear where it allows you to edit the chart and to view as well. So this way guys, you can insert an object. Similarly, you can add um, an AutoCAD file, a WordPad, a Microsoft Word, even you can add PPTs. So that's all for today guys. Thank you. If you really like the content, then please like the video and click subscribe to see more videos like this. And you can visit mahagurus.com to see lots of other software courses.
थैंक यू